And today actually marks one week since Delgado Garcia died. Yeah, and since that tragedy, many are understandably demanding answers about his death. But it's still up in the air at this point, which agency will actually be investigating it. NBC 10's Manash Kungwari explains. A conflict of interest is the very reason why I'm standing here in Framingham one week after Delgado Garcia's death, saying there still has not been an agency picked to investigate how he died. Now, because he died during what we're told was a training exercise, Mass State Police can't investigate the matter. So we reached out to the Worcester District Attorney's Office and a spokesperson telling NBC10 Boston they have been in discussion with multiple agencies about handing over the case and are waiting to hear hear back from them to make a decision soon. We know Delgado Garcia ended up with serious injuries like missing teeth, skull damage and a fractured neck, but we still don't know how he died, the cause of his death. Now people have questions about what trainees experience in the state police academy and who provides oversight and accountability. Well, yesterday we were able to catch up with Governor Maura Healy and asked her thoughts on this whole situation. As a former attorney general, former prosecutor, uh, and now as governor, I want to make sure that we have the very best in terms of training and instruction at the academy. I'm proud of the fact that Massachusetts State Police Academy is top notch in the country. Obviously, there was a tragic incident with a recruit who lost his life. We don't know what fully happened there. We're going to get answers to that. As you can imagine, Delgado Garcia's loved ones are demanding answers. And in fact, the family has retained an attorney. This remains an ongoing situation. We will keep you updated when we get more information. But for right now, reporting in Framingham, Manash Gwangwari, NBC10 Boston.